now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. I take a critical examination of the rape and murder of U.S. scientist Suzanne Eaton in Crete, Greece, I see another textbook example of beta male behavior that I talked about in The Man Crisis. Now, in this incident, a 27-year-old man decided to run down this 59-year-old scientist, Suzanne Eaton, with his car, and then after running her down with his car, he put her in his trunk, then took her to a secluded area, raped her, murdered her, and then abandoned her body in a cave. And when I look at the actions of this 27-year-old man, who says he was motivated by sexual satisfaction, it fits right in line with what I wrote about in The Man Crisis regarding the sexual frustration of the beta male and the sexual deviancy of the beta male. Now, this 27-year-old local man says his reasons for running down Suzanne Eaton with his car before he raped her and murdered her was to get sexual satisfaction. And when it comes down to many of these beta males, many of these beta males are sexually frustrated. And when, because they're so sexually frustrated, they start to become very angry at women in general because they believe they aren't getting the attention from the women that they want or opportunities to have sexual relations with the women that they want. And because they're not getting the ability to get those opportunities at sexual relations, they believe they are justified in participating in acts of sexual violence. And this act of sexual violence is one of the most troubling ones because it shows how angry this man was by running down this 59-year-old woman and then putting her in the trunk of his car before taking her to that secluded area where he participated in this deviant sexual act, an act not about sexual satisfaction as this man claims, it was about participating in an act of sexual violence so he could go out of his way to project his anger on this 59-year-old woman that he had at younger women who he believed were not giving him the attention he wanted or opportunities at sexual relationships that he wanted. And that's the main reason why this beta male was motivated by his sexual satisfaction, which was all about getting sexual revenge through sexual violence. He wanted to get revenge on all the women where he lived and he wanted to take that frustration out on someone who he believed would be weaker than the women in his own area. So that's why he ran down this 59-year-old nuclear biologist because he wanted to find the weakest woman to participate in sexual violence against. And he did this because he wanted to hurt this woman and he, it wasn't about this woman even being so-called sexually attractive because this was a 59-year-old menopausal woman. So this was about hurting a woman and being able to express his anger and his rage against this woman. And that's what these beta males do because the beta male is oftentimes very angry at women and because he's very angry at women and he's simmering and boiling in this beta male rage he eventually explodes in this rage and the only way he finds satisfaction is through participating in an act 
of sexual violence against a woman and this man after he participated in his sexual violence then suffocated this woman to death and left her with broken ribs and a face full of broken bones and multiple injuries on her hands he literally just abandoned her and discarded her like so much garbage because he felt that this woman's life had no value and the reason why this woman's life had no value was because he believed he wasn't getting the attention that he wanted from women and this is why the beta male is extremely dangerous when he's sexually frustrated and why his participation in sexual deviant acts is extremely dangerous and why your beta male who is sexually frustrated is a threat to all around him because when you have this beta male who is sexually frustrated and very angry out here any situation can turn into an act of sexual violence when you're dealing with this kind of beta male so this when I look at this incident I see yet another incident in the man crisis going on here in the West and it's quite troubling how this man went out of his way to willfully and intentionally harm this woman before participating in his act of sexual violence and this is why I want more men to learn about the behaviors of men who are in crisis because these men are ticking time bombs and it's just not a matter of if they will go off it's a matter of when and when these men participate in their spectrum of violent behaviors they can participate in anything from a screaming fit all the way up to a crime of sexual violence and murder and when with a growing population of these beta males within three to four generations and more and more of these men calling themselves incels it's very it's a very dangerous time for people out here because these beta males who are filled with sexual frustration sexual anger they believe the only way in many cases that they can get sexual satisfaction is through participating in an act of sexual violence and they want to destroy the life of one innocent woman who had nothing to do with anything I mean I doubt this 59 year old nuclear biologist who is the age of a grandmother had anything to do with this 27 year old man's issues as related to women because his issues as related to women clearly come from the way he was socialized and it's clear he did not develop any of the social skills he needed to survive in the world and have social interactions with women in the world and because he didn't learn those social skills this is why this man is so angry and became so violent and he wound up going out here and participating in one of the most heinous crimes out here as related to humanity I mean what this man did was extremely egregious in, in this murder of Susan Eaton but it shows that this trend as related to these men being in crisis is getting worse and this act of violence is something that shows how much worse the acts of violence these beta males participate in can get because when it comes down to these beta males and their spectrum of violent behaviors these men can participate in a variety of horrific actions and because they are so caught up in their emotions they're not thinking about how what they're doing all they're thinking about is th because they're hurting because they're not getting what they want and they want to hurt others because they believe they are being denied an opportunity to get the sexual relationships that they want and this man wanted to destroy this woman because he felt that he had been rejected and he wanted to go out here and destroy this woman's life and he did murder her and take her life in the worst possible way and I believe that he needs to be brought to justice because he is he did something extremely egregious but what's really scary out here is that this action right here shows the escalation of the violence of, of a beta male 
and it shows that we are in the midst of a man crisis not only in the US but even in the West and until we acknowledge this man crisis going on here across the across the, the West things are going to get worse instead of better and many people will see this as just an isolated incident but I see it as yet another incident in the ongoing man crisis going on in America and the West. If you'd like to learn more about the sexual deviancy, sexual frustration, and the sexual violence that beta males like this 27-year-old participate in, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle formats, Smashwords, and the iBookstore. And this book will give you an in-depth examination of these men and what motivates them to participate in this kind of violence and you will learn why these men in crisis are a threat to everyone and if you'd like to see me make more videos like this you can donate to my patreon my paypal or my cash app by clicking the links in the description box that's all i have to say for this video you can comment rate and subscribe